on BBC One this Sunday, The Salem Witch Hunt. Here is all the invisible world, caught, defined, and calculated. In these books, the devil stands stripped of all his brute disguises. Daniel Massey as Reverend Hale in the world television premiere of The Crucible, Arthur Miller's powerful play set in Massachusetts in 1692. A story of frustrated lust and jealousy, with Sarah Berger as Abigail and Michael N. Harbour as Proctor. You will tell the call. You are blind to spirits. You cannot see them anymore. And you will never cry witchery again, or I will make you famous for the whore you are. Never in this world. I know you, John. You are at this moment singing secret hallelujahs at your wife will hang. You mad, you murderous bitch! But witchcraft is ipso facto on its face and by its nature an invisible crime, is it not? Therefore, who may possibly be witness to it? The witch and the victim, none other. Well, we cannot possibly hope the witch will accuse herself. <laughs> Granted, therefore we must rely upon her victims, and they do testify. The children certainly do testify. Arthur Miller reflects in the Radio Times on the background to his play, written at the height of the McCarthy anti-communist trials in the America of the 1950s. The Crucible, this Sunday at 7.15 on BBC One, and in the new edition of Radio Times. Our late film on BBC One is set in New York, 1925, in the days of burlesque. It's a comedy starring Jason Robarts, Britt Eklund and Norman Wisdom in The Night They Raided Minsky's. It begins at 10.50. Now the subject is housing for London Issues and Answers. It's introduced by Robert Mackenzie. Just a year ago, the Greater London Council began to transfer its responsibility for London's living accommodation to the boroughs. 